in the cozy and welcoming living room of a modern care home in a suburban neighborhood, two dedicated caregivers, Anna and Ben, were in the middle of a thoughtful discussion. The room, filled with comfortable furniture, warm lighting, and photographs of happy residents, reflected the homely atmosphere that the care home aimed to provide. Ben, as we know, caring for the elderly is not just about meeting their physical needs. It's about ensuring their emotional and psychological well-being, too. How can we create an environment where our residents feel truly cared for and valued? You're absolutely right, Anna. It's about compassion and connection. We need to find ways to engage them in meaningful activities. But, considering the diverse backgrounds and interests of our residents, what do you think is our biggest challenge in providing personalized care? There are several, but let's tackle them one by one. Question. Ben, in your opinion, what is the biggest challenge in providing personalized care for the elderly? A. Understanding each resident's unique needs and preferences. B. Balancing individualized care with the overall schedule. C. Ensuring the mental health and emotional well-being of residents. Answer. A. Understanding each resident's unique needs and preferences. Ben, I think the biggest challenge is understanding each resident's unique needs and preferences. Option A. Each person has their own history, likes, and dislikes, and to provide personalized care, we need to get to know them on an individual level. Absolutely, Anna. Building a relationship with each resident is crucial. We should focus on spending quality time with them and perhaps also involve their families to gain deeper insights into their preferences. Exactly. It's not just about daily routines, but creating a sense of belonging and trust. As they continued their discussion, they explored various activities and programs that could enrich the lives of their residents and provide a sense of fulfillment. Anna, besides understanding their needs, I think ensuring the mental health and emotional well-being of our residents is also essential. With the challenges of aging, how confident are you in our capabilities to manage it? Question. Anna, do you believe our current programs are sufficient to support the mental health and emotional well-being of our residents? Or should we look into new activities or therapies? A. Our current programs are robust, but continuous improvement is necessary. B. We definitely need to invest in new activities and therapies to enhance mental and emotional support. C. A complete overhaul of our programs is required for better mental and emotional care. Answer. B. We definitely need to invest in new activities and therapies to enhance mental and emotional support. Anna, I believe we need to seriously consider investing in new activities and therapies. Option B. Given the complexities of mental health in aging, leveraging advanced therapies and creating engaging activities will be crucial to ensure overall well-being. I agree. Ben, ensuring our residents are mentally stimulated and emotionally supported will be key to their happiness.
Let's also consider incorporating mindfulness practices and creative arts to appeal to their diverse interests. As they mapped out their strategies, Anna and Ben felt a surge of excitement about the potential to improve the lives of their residents through innovation and a strong commitment to personalized care. Ben, considering our focus on holistic care, we should also think about the physical aspect. Using physical therapy and fitness programs could help maintain their mobility and overall health. What do you think about integrating a personalized fitness plan for each resident? That's a great idea, Anna. A tailored fitness plan could not only improve physical health but also boost their mood and energy levels. This could significantly enhance their quality of life. Anna nodded, making notes on her clipboard. Let's also ensure that our staff is well trained in these new initiatives. With recent developments in elder care, we need to prioritize ongoing training and development to build expertise. Absolutely. Continuous training is paramount. We should look into the latest elder care techniques and possibly collaborate with health professionals to stay updated. Perhaps, conducting regular workshops could give us an edge in ensuring our care is top-notch. As they discussed the technicalities, Anna proposed another idea. Ben, what about the social aspect of our care home? Many residents miss the social interaction from their previous lives. Maybe we could integrate community events and family days to foster a sense of community. That's innovative, Anna. A community day could replicate the social interaction they miss and add a fun element to our care home. It could differentiate us further and make our care home a lively place. Their brainstorming session turned into a lively discussion of potential features, each idea building on the last. They agreed to start working on a prototype that included these innovative elements, planning to test it with a small group of residents within a few months. We should also consider how we present our care home. Our communication strategy needs to be as heartfelt as our care. We need to tell a story that resonates with families, emphasizing our unique selling propositions. The personalized care, the mental and emotional support, the social interaction. Right. Let's develop a content plan that showcases our care home's personality and values. Maybe we can launch a blog series or video content that goes behind the scenes of our care practices and our team's dedication. Excited about their comprehensive approach, Anna and Ben prepared for a late night fueled by creativity and the shared vision of transforming elder care. They were not just planning care routines. They were crafting an experience that they hoped would revolutionize the way elderly people are cared for. As the sun began to set outside, the duo leaned back in their chairs, their minds brimming with plans and initiatives ready to tackle the challenges ahead with their innovative solutions and a clear vision for their care home. Here are five words and phrases related to the theme of caring for the elderly. Personalized care, tailoring care and services to meet the unique needs and preferences of each individual. Mental and emotional well-being. Ensuring the psychological health and emotional balance of residents. 
physical therapy, a healthcare specialty that includes the evaluation, assessment, and treatment of individuals with limitations in functional mobility. Mindfulness practices, techniques that involve paying attention to the present moment in a non judgmental way to enhance mental clarity and emotional calm. Community events, organized gatherings that aim to foster social interaction and a sense of community among residents.